Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel Maison African Motives uh, still working on engineering science N4. So in this case guys we shall have an introduction to angular motion. So actually guys here yeah, I want to see what's happening here in angular motion. So if you're new guys you can consider subscribing so that you become part of the family Maison African Motives as we shall be working on question papers, revisions and uh, topics on different uh, uh, angles uh, so that we can actually prepare ourselves for the exams which are ahead of time so in this case um, on angular motion actually the most important thing that you are actually going to understand is the concept of the radian concept uh, that's the first thing that you need uh, to just know which is the radian concept okay what's happening with this uh, marker here all right that's the radian concept what does this radian concept actually uh, define or what, what are we having in this radian concept? Okay, this is the case here. You actually be given a circle. Let's just say we are taking it uh, from a circle like this. Given a radius and an angle theta, which is measured in radians. And here you'll be having, um, okay, let's just say the the distance between the two points which is actually the length of the arc okay so on a condition that we have got an angle of one radian it can only be achieved when the arc length is equivalent to the radius when the radius is equivalent to the arc length we shall have what we call the one radius so in this case i'm not going to waste much time guys i want you to just know this on angular displacement uh, angular displacement and angular velocity okay the one radian is defined as an angle of one uh, an angle of one radian in a circle is subtended by an arc equal in length to the circle okay that is what i'm uh, actually talking about there that is radius should be equal to the to the length okay so this is what you have guys and some of the important formulas that actually you shall need to know and important terms uh, the angular that theta there uh, represents what is called the angular displacement okay that is the theta there just like uh, what we had in linear motion when you talk about uh, linear displacement that is uh, same thing with the this part but this one Will be called theta and this angular displacement is going to be measured in radians okay so this one will be measured in radians where theta is equivalent to the arc length over r like this so this is s over r which is arc length okay that's arc length over the radius All right, that can make sense so Maybe for the, us, the introduction of our status case, this can be uh, something better. Or the theta can actually be found by 2 pi n, whereby this n here, guys, is representing number of revolutions. Number of revolutions. All right, that's number of revolutions, actually. So that means you can play around even to find the number of revolutions you find theta from this concept. Theta is equivalent to 2 pi n, which is this n representing the number of revolutions. Okay, so that's actually what we have on the angular uh, displacement. And uh, we have got the angular velocity, which is another concept also that is very, very important that you need to know the angular velocity, this one. It's a W. This one is a Greek word which is called omega. Omega. Okay. So this one is measured in rads per second. Okay. That, that's rad per second. So actually, there are things that you need to actually know. Let, let's just define this. This angular velocity that you're talking about is actually the change in velocity, the change in displacement over the change in time. Okay. So that's the change in angular displacement change in angular displacement all right that's what you're going to have there actually over the time taken time taken or you can just say change in time guys because time taken is the change in time so that's going to give us something like this uh 
because the change that change is actually a theta that is what you're going to have over the time taken so this is what you're going to put in short and since this is measured in right and this is measured in seconds it's going to be right per second so that's what you're going to have as the units here and um, the other thing is that when you are given um, let's say you are given revs per minute like this okay that means the angular velocity in rad per second is going to be 2 pi times the revs per minute like this over 60 so that is what you're going to mod to do you you multiply rest per minute over 60 which is going to give you rad per second so that's the concept there so this is going to give you an answer in rad per second okay so but when given uh given revs per second when it is already in revs per second then your omega is just going to be 2 pi times that revs per second as it is why because the 60 there is of converting revs per minute to revs per second so already if it is in revs per second you are not going to do anything you're just going to multiply 2 pi by those revs per second as they are and your answer is going to be also in right per second so this is what you're supposed to know guys on the converting revs per minute to right per second and revs per second to right per second um, the conversion lies on this secret here on those two that revs per minute you divide but um, per, per second you don't divide anything just right as it is okay then what else is important is the um, okay in fact what can we do let's just talk about the relationship again so we've got the relationship there relationship that is the relationship between um the linear and angular motion between the linear and angular but which motion are we talking about here we are talking about velocity all right so that's velocity there okay so you're talking about the relationship that can be there between the linear and the angular velocity guys remember that linear velocity you're talking about a v velocity angular velocity you're talking about an omega like what i said it's a greek weight that one omega like that so the relationship is that the v which is in linear is equivalent to the radius times the omega which is in right per second so this is going to be in meters per second remember linear meters per second so that means this omega can be the subject if you make it the subject is going to be v over r like this and this one is measured in rad per second so i don't know where you want to convert to from you want to convert to linear from angular is going to be two meters per second you want to convert to angular velocity from linear this is from linear velocity this is going to be your formula and your answer is going to be in right per second so these are just the formulas and we shall talk about the introduction that we are going to have and uh, some of these guys are uh, maybe you can just see them and uh, maybe they can just help us so that we can have the the best part so this is what you're going to have guys okay these ones i just wrote them here the angular acceleration okay the angular acceleration is actually the change in angular velocity over the time taken this is the time taken here which is this formula that is the formula that you're going to actually use and the relationship between this angular acceleration and the linear acceleration is this uh, remember this is alpha for angular acceleration is measured in right per second so a is for linear acceleration and this alpha is for angular acceleration so linear acceleration is measured in meters per square second so i think for angular acceleration we shall just apply this in exam okay i mean in in question papers so that you can understand what i'm talking about okay and this part is very very important and it's there also in your formula sheet i just made this one clear for you guys important formulas that you're going to to have that's between linear motion and angular motion i hope they are clear guys so these are the formulas that you are going to use so you're going to apply all these formulas so what you just need is to know them 
what they represent so the v there for the final velocity this is final velocity u its initial velocity so it means w1 like this omega 1 that's uh, the initial that will be the initial angular velocity and this omega 2 will be the final that will be the final angular velocity okay then the theta where we talked about this one is the angular displacement that's the angular displacement uh, t is actually the time okay that's our time there which is in seconds and uh, what else that alpha there we talked about this and we said this one is angular acceleration so these are the important ones that you actually need to know and these formulas they're the your formula sheet so that's why i just written this down guys so that we can just uh, conclude okay so let's just conclude this working on the relationship between the work done this is the most important part that i wanted you to know actually the work done and the power uh, resulting from torque resulting from torque so this like is a what can we say it's a continuation that you actually hear from your entry because we talked about the torque before entry where we said actually torque is the force times distance so torque that's uh, force times the perpendicular distance like this which is measured in newton meters okay so this is the force here and this is the perpendicular distance all right that's the perpendicular uh, distance uh, yeah that's the perpendicular distance actually uh, that is the radius actually which is the perpendicular distance and we know that the radius is equivalent to diameter over 2 when you are given the diameter okay and the unit of measurement for torque is actually newton meter yeah this is one of the important formulas guys and we shall see this formula working here and again and what else what else do we have we've got um the work done yeah that's another thing the work done which is going to be uh this one is now force times the no we are not we are we talking about talks i i wanted to talk remember there's a formula for work done we use force times uh, distance something like that so in this case that is the same thing but we are talking in terms of torque guys okay so this we are still talking about the force but uh, the, the work done but in terms of torque something so this is going to be the torque times the angular displays will be given the theta there so you're going to multiply by the this this thing that i'm calling theta guys is the angular displacement it's not a thing actually this is the angular displacement which is theta uh, these are just greek uh, names don't worry about these ones okay so this is your torque here and this is going to be work done which is measured in joules remember that work done is measured in joules so what we have here yeah these are the important formulas that i want you to actually know so like we say this is your torque here so this one is not going to change and this is our angular displacement so guys these formulas they are very very weird very very weird actually but it makes sense because uh this is in measure this is measured in radians actually remember guys uh, angular displacement radians and this will be newton meter so sometimes you can know the units then you know oh, okay this is the thing that i'm supposed to substitute because of the units that you know uh so yes there's, there's something like that okay what about the power now because we want the power that is going to result from the torque so definitely this power yeah that's the power it's going to be torque times uh the angular velocity yeah that makes sense okay so that will be the power which is actually measured in watts so we we had the power that we know from other formulas there we will talk about them uh, while uh, we are answering question papers maybe it can actually make sense but okay, let me just write someone needs to know what's this what's this this is the talk guys we talked about this before that is the talk and also this one we talked about this uh, we told this is the angular velocity that's our angular velocity which is actually measured in watt per second we know guys angular velocity and this is newton meter yeah something like that you multiply the two you are going to obtain the power so if you are to cross check guys these are the most important formulas that you are going to work with and uh, not that only these and 
but just the basic to know what you're dealing with and uh, the units of measurement so that when you are now answering question papers you won't be like what what is this thing okay so that's it guys since our target is to work on question papers and revisions so we shall meet again in another class or working on question papers and revisions now from Maison African Motives till we meet again.